When the Japanese captured our position and took us as prisoners, I thought they'd kill me. Apparently I'm really lucky because they're sending us to their prison facility in Heilongjiang. My boyfriend is always so sweet when I'm throwing up. Even though he says I look disgusting as he hands me the toothbrush, he reminds me that I'll be beautiful once I've lost all that weight. There's nothing in there worth dying for, the fireman said, holding me back as I screamed and cried. My 12-year-old cat died cowering by the window, wondering why I didn't come to save him. I held my crying son over the cliff, praying my arms wouldn't give out as I watched the other weeping parents let go of their children one by one. The soldiers with the guns sit behind us and keep laughing as they repeat, the one who lasts the longest gets to keep their brat. The cure for the disease would take a century to synthesize, so the sick were sent 100 years in the future in the hopes that they might be cured. After a century had passed since the first person was sent and all of humanity gathered to reunite with long-lost family members, millions of charred carcasses began flowing in. The CDC has just released the four scariest words mankind has ever heard. Rabies has gone airborne. Every time I tried to leave my boyfriend, he told me he'd kill himself. So I stayed. When I finally worked up the courage to break up and leave him, I realized he wasn't lying, but also that he wasn't going out alone. My two-month-old baby wouldn't stop crying for a full 24 hours, no matter what I did to calm him. In my exhaustion, I held him tighter and tighter, desperate for him to just stop. And when he finally did, I felt a wave of relief as I laid him back in his crib. I'll let you in on a little secret. The anesthetist whispered while putting the mask over my mouth and nose, and I found myself getting numb before my brain surgery. This doesn't stop the pain. It just paralyzes you and keeps the experience from entering your long-term memory. My wife and I used to think it was funny when our black cat would chase after a small shadow figure, we called Ghost Kitty, down the hall at night. Ever since our cat passed away, the small shadow figure has disappeared, but now I'm starting to see a human-sized shadow walking toward my cubicle at work every day, while I'm on the other side of the room. What smells so good? asked my father, his voice making mom instinctively flinch as she tended the simmering pot. You're just desserts, she whispered, a smile beaming across her bruised face as she doused him in boiling sugar. People thought that a 22 caliber pistol wouldn't be enough to save me from a bear attack. But with one well-placed shot to my wife's knee, I was able to jog away no problem. Hello, I know this is awkward, but you're my biological mother through my parents' in vitro fertilization. I stared in shock at the young woman who looked so strikingly like me, because I don't remember ever having been an egg donor. Daddy, I had a nightmare, I hear my son say, prompting me to carry him tenderly back to his bed. Oh dear, you've lost another finger, I sigh, before gently laying the body I've cradled every night back in the bed, where he'd passed years earlier. <laughs>